everybody, it's Rabbit, and welcome to my playthrough of Guardian's Crusade, where we left off previously. We ended up making it to a place called, I believe, Zed Harbor, but we were too late to buy a ticket to get on the boat because Bonick actually bought out the last one. So we talked to the governor of Zed Harbor, and basically he told us if we could get him some kind of treasure from the Coldo ruins, he would give us a ticket or give us access to his ship, whatever he decides at the last minute. But nevertheless, he is our key to getting where we need to go. So we were making our way to the Coldo ruins, and we passed through this tunnel and were mistaken for someone random named Jedro, and we were given something to bring to a man named Gaelic in Carmarthen. So we just arrived to Carmarthen when we left off in our previous episode, and we haven't even really explored much or looked in the homes in the city, so we're gonna start doing that. And then we will continue to, I believe there's like a swamp or a marshland, and that will take us straight where we need to go. At least hopefully anyway. So yeah, we'll kind of start from the beginning and run around. We kind of quickly ran through a mine as well, but we didn't look too thoroughly through. Um, so, I don't even know where to start. I think the entrance is over here. Okay, yes, it is. I think. There should be stairs, right? Or am I losing my mind, guys? Where the hell are we? Well, whatever. We're gonna ex start here and then we'll make our way through the rest of... of Carmarthen. I don't know where we are. Wow, a chrome mailbox. You should get one for your house, too. I think that would be a waste to get a chrome mailbox. Actually, I wonder if this is that guy Gaelic's house. Well, we'll check it out and see. I was just making sure there's no treasure anywhere. So, let's see. Can we look in this? Night looks inside. It's too dark to see anything. And this must be Gaelic's house, but it doesn't seem like he's home. Oh, great. Well, we'll have to return and give him his shit later then, I suppose. Okay, I have to change my perspective. I'm sorry, guys, because that is bugging the fuck out of me. But anyway, so uh, that's not where we entered the town. You know what? Let me just see. Where is this going to bring us? We might have to turn around. Oh, no. So this is where we enter town. So let's um, just go and see everybody and talk to everyone, see if anyone has anything interesting to say. We do want to go back up to the mine because, as I said, we kind of quickly ran through and checked that place out, and there was nothing inside. Uh, nothing really important, anyway, that we found. We got a living toy, but we didn't see anything else, and I think there should be some more shit in there. So we'll go back and we'll just double check. We'll look in all of the carts to make sure we didn't miss anything. What is this? Ah, uh, the item shop. And we are good on items. I think we talked to her already. Coldo, you must mean the ruins over by the swamp west of town. I wouldn't go there if I were you. It's way too dangerous. So yeah, we need to go westward to those swamps that she is telling us not to venture towards. But yes, okay, so we were here. We talked to this scientist who I initially suspected was Gaelic, um, but no, instead it's just a guy who is half-assing raising his grandson because his son and daughter-in-law passed away from the monster, so I thought that was kind of sad. Now you're only going to get dirty, blah, 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 we've heard the same spiel. There may not really be anything for us here. I might just need to run back up to the mine to double check and make sure that we got everything. I don't even remember which living toy we got from in there. I think it was... Actually, I don't know. So this is the mayor. It's a woman. That's interesting. Right after my husband was elected mayor, he died in a cave-in. Now I'm the acting mayor. I'm going to ensure the safety of all future miners. Aw, that is so sad. Power to you. Power to ya. Like, that is so devastating. I always feel really sad when I meet someone who's a widow. Fragile is stamped on the outside of this empty box. Well, there's nothing inside of it, and that's all I care about. Knight, put that crowbar down. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm, I don't think there's anything here. We'll check in this. What a luxury to have a fireplace on the second floor. We'll go and see how much money we have and if we can... Uh, well, let me check. 673 rubies. I don't think that's enough to buy anything to upgrade our armor or equipment, so I'm probably going to forego that. I just don't think there's any point. That pink doggy looks smart enough to go fetch goodies. 
Thanks for the pro tip game. <laughs> we already know that baby can go do that. And this is the inn. We already slept there. And here is a weapon shop. So let's just look and see what they have. Then we'll go to the mine, quickly double check everything, and then we will go westward. Can I help you? Yes, you can. Yeah, we can't afford any of the shit. We are so broke. Maybe after we're in the Coldo um, mine or Coldo ruins, we will be able to get what we want here. Because, yeah, that would be so nice if we could upgrade our shit. And yeah, there's no way anytime soon we'll be affording these things. So we are not even going to entertain that fantasy. So, yeah, let's just go to the mines, guys. Make sure I did not miss anything. And I think they are this way. They should be anyway. Yeah, I believe that's it to Carmarthen. This isn't a very big town at all. Um, it just kind of is what it is. So anyway, we came over here and I think we got the living toy foreman, miner, something like that. I don't remember his name. But let's just make sure that I got everything else. We talked to this guy. There's nothing up here. Maybe we did get everything. I just wanted to make sure. Let's check in this. Searching the ore cart, and we got a shield. I thought that was a slab of iron, but it's not. You can have it. <laughs> so we got a bone shield. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and equip this. All right, so it's just marginally better than the one we had before. You guys know the drill. Let's give Baby our old shield. And yeah, I still am not sure what I'm going to do about that strange bug. You can sell it for 400 rubies, but I don't know. I might need to go consult a forum to see what's up with that, because I really don't know if that's something I should sell or just feed to Baby. Okay, but anyway, we're done here. We've already spent way too much time in Carmarthen. Let's, let's go. I believe she said it was to the west. That is where the swamp is that will take us to the Coldo ruins. So that's where we're going to go. And have we talked to you? What are you doing? Informer. Some pompous fool called Kalkanor came through here on the way to Coldo. Said something about finding a beast. Okay. So yeah, basically they have beat us to the punch. And they are where we need to be. So okay. Let's consult our giant map to make sure we do go in the right way. Ah, it was Miner. That's the name of the living toy that we got. So, okay, we need to go. Interesting. So, I am guessing we need to be heading, hmm, over to that yellow thing, possibly? I am not sure, guys. She said it was west, but, okay, so maybe we need to go north, west, first? I am not sure. We might need to just just run over there and see, because that looks to be about right, possibly. Maybe we'll find, like, some kind of, well, we'll get into a fight, but maybe we'll find some kind of, what are they called? Those little posts that are signs that shows where we're supposed to go. So we'll just kind of head in this direction. I think that's the way to get to the swamp. She said it was west, so I'm just going to start off west and hope that's the right way for us to go. I mean, we can't get too lost. There's not that much of an area to explore over here. But it has been a while since I played, and I want to make sure I don't take you guys on a wild goose chase. I'm sorry, Knight. Don't have time to see your bullshit. And yay, Knight got a level. And Baby's not too far off from a level himself. So yeah, we'll kind of go this way and see where this takes us. Hopefully straight to where we need to go, because it is not fun roaming for a long time. Oh my goodness! A mantis! Why does it fly? It looks like a little dragon. Is that what you guys thought it was too? I thought it was a dragon, but, you know. I like the designs of the different monsters though. I, I really get a huge kick out of that in, in games. I enjoy the variety that's present in some titles. Not all of them. Some of them are a little bit lame and they'll just recolor monsters that you encounter earlier on, but... But yeah. This one so far, we haven't seen any repeat designs, I don't believe. And I don't think you ever do. I think they're all unique to the area that you are in, so... 
All right, let's go west. We are here at the swamp, and then we'll probably just need to proceed a little northward, and then we'll get to the ruins, hopefully. Yay, baby got a level, just to show you guys really fast where he is at. And I'm actually gonna have him go try to fetch while we are here, just to give him something to do. And maybe he'll be happy if he finds something and we get the chance to praise him. Now, I will say the first time I, ooh, a pirate sword, uh, yes, and we will praise the fuck out of baby. If that's better than the sword that we have, I am going to be so happy. And it's not, but its element is water, whereas what we have right now is earth. I don't know if that makes a difference at all, to tell you guys the truth. Um, I mean, I guess. I guess let's use it. I don't know. And like, should I feed one to baby? I don't know. Let's just hold on to that. I think we have room. Oops, that is not what I meant to do. Sorry about that. I think we've got a little bit of room. So if we start to run out, I'll feed him the buccaneer uh, sword. But for now, I think we should be in pretty good shape. Now it's just making our way through the swamp in one piece. <laughs> oh my goodness. I remember this place though. And to tell you guys the truth, as I was starting to say, the first time I recorded this LP for this channel, I got so lost here. Like, I'm not even joking when I say I spent forever fucking around in this place. Like, I was so upset because I just could not make my way through. I don't know what the deal was. Well, I do know what the deal was. Part of it was I didn't know we had a map. Like, I never, ever paid attention to that. So... Um, I'll go ahead and use Kimoni on myself. And since I didn't pay attention to the fact that we had a map, I wasn't sure which way I'd come from, which way I was going, and it stressed me out so much. I was so awful at navigating through this swamp to get to the Coldo ruins. It was quite tragic, and people were so nice, and they were like, you can do it, rabbit, you can make it, we know you can. And then it was funny because where I ended one of the episodes when we were making our way through this swamp, like, right after I cut the video, I walked maybe like three steps, and then I was there at the entrance to the ruins. So it was crazy. I still remember that. It was probably the first time I ever got really, really anxious on camera. I mean, you know, every time you play, like, sometimes you're just like, oh my god, so much pressure, I gotta do this, and I only have, like, between 15 and... I don't know, like 20 minutes or else if you go longer than that, it's kind of lame. But anyway, I got really frustrated and baby got a new transformation. So that is really cool, guys. We'll check it out and see which one he got. I don't remember if he learned the tree or the frog. Oh, or both of them. That's cool. Well, hey, so now we've got four in baby's list. And I do need to consult something to make sure... Um, that I am getting all of the transformations. And anyway, let's see. I wonder if I should be consulting the map to make sure that I'm headed in the right direction. I probably do need to for real do that. So let's check out our handy dandy map here to see which way we are fucking going. <sighs> okay, so the ruins are probably that yellow dot all the way hmm, to the southwest. So that's the direction we're going to want to go in. So yeah, let's just try to go as south and west as possible, at least where we can. So yeah, let's go. Oh, just kidding. It looks like that will take us not where we need to go, or maybe it will work out. I don't know, we'll just try and hopefully we'll get there within this episode. Well, Knight just got a level, so let me quickly show you guys that. <laughs> That's really needed because <laughs> these monsters just truly, truly pack a wallet. But anyway, um, I am going to just continue this way and hope this is where we need to go. Aha, fuck you, monster. And yeah, we'll just kind of make our way through and weave around a little bit and <laughs> hopefully this will go much better than it did the first time I played this for you guys. So Baby just got a level as well. Oh, what am I doing? I don't need to scroll down. But yeah, so you guys can see that. And it's really nice that Nahani will sometimes use her little pixie dust on us because we got feared, I suppose, is what you would call it. And then after she did her pixie dust shit, she ended up healing us. So that was really, really nice. 
So it removed that. Oh my god, did I go the wrong way? Oh, I wish that tree was knocked down, because I think that is where we need to go. That yellow dot right there to our west. West direction. Uh, but we will just go up this way, I guess, and try to go around. Haha, <laughs> I will not be fooled by you, motherfucker. Oh, shit! <laughs> Did not mean to get caught, but I think we're going where we need to. At least I'm hoping so. I need to use an apple because I'm all out of psychic points from all of the healing that I've been having to do. Let's see how much it increases our PP. Oh my god. Literally by almost nothing! Oh, this is a total waste! Oh my gosh, guys. No wonder you could get an infinite amount from that piano. Oh god, that is really, really, really lame, but I'm just gonna use them all. I wonder if I should give them to Baby, if that would make him happy. Although, I will say, so far in this LP, I have not pissed Baby off at all. He's been really good about not biting the shit out of me and freaking out, so... <laughs> I am very happy about that because in the past it's always been kind of hit or miss. Sometimes Baby is not a dick, but then other times he just freaks out and will attack you randomly just because he wants to. Oh my gosh! What the fuck? A fang fish? I am going to bring out Contributor to <laughs> contribute to this cause of kicking this thing's ass. And hopefully we're at the ruins pretty soon, guys because we are about up on time, and I promise I will not keep you for too much longer. But yeah, did you see how much damage Contributor does just for 20 rubies? Each time he throws one of those coins, he's utilizing 20 of your rubies, but we're getting between 70 and 80 for each fight, so it's been completely worth it to use him. Oh my god, but I don't know where we are. Not close enough, it seems. I'll wait for that fucking thing to... Ah! Oh, God! Oh, God. I tried, but I ran into that fucking tree. Ugh. We keep getting all these angel tears, and I don't even know what to do with all of them. Oh, my God. Did we just come from that way? Or I think we came from that side. That was what always would fuck me up the first time I played this without the map. I never knew... Oh, God from what direction I had just crossed over and then what direction I was intending to continue into. We are so close to these ruins, guys, I can fucking taste it. So we just gotta continue a little bit further and I think we made it, yes! And before the end of this episode. So let's come up here and there's just a guy randomly here. So the merchant says, hello there. It's nice to see that I'm not the only one lost in this swamp. I thought I would get some rest before trying to move on. I'll take first watch if you wanna get some sleep. We are gonna definitely do that. Okay, you get some sleep and I'll wake you up later. So we're gonna rest, we're gonna save, and then we will call this an episode. And when we come back together, guys, we are going to continue on to the Coldo Ruins. I actually might spend a little bit of time off camera trying to level up a little bit more, just so we don't get our asses kicked. So thank you for watching, everyone. I am your host, Rabbit, and this is my playthrough of Guardian's Crusade. I'll see you in just a sec.